What's up everybody, welcome back. This is part 3 of my tutorial series on how to make a Pokemon game in RPG Maker XP. In today's episode, what we're going to be doing is making our map better, bigger, bolder, as well as map connections. We're going to start with a route and connect these maps together. That's what we'll be doing today. And I'll also import some music and make the music in our game not suck. Okay, so first let's resize this map. Right now this map, there were there were black borders before, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little bit bigger so that way we can put more trees and cover up those borders, those nasty borders. So map properties, we're gonna make it a little bit wider. Let's go 40 in height. Let's go 30. And one thing you'll notice is whenever you resize your map, uh, look at all the space now. What you need to do is add some more grass. Actually no, before I add some grass, let's do this. Let's use the select tool and do control A and move it, and then click away. It's very important. It's very easy to accidentally lose all your progress, so be super careful when doing control A and clicking things. So I moved it, and now we're gonna add some more trees, make it nice and sparse. So it shouldn't be possible. I think the way it works is eight. I think when there's eight, it's impossible to uh, see the black borders. I might be wrong, but I think it's eight. Yeah, let's just fill in all these trees now. Fill it all in, fill it all in. Yeah, so this is this is this is some of the boring stuff when it comes to making a Pokemon game. Some parts are more exciting. Some parts aren't as glamorous. But you know. You live with it. It's a uh, it's a life. Okay. Actually no, let's uh fill this in. Cool. So that'll, that'll be just basic for now. And since we moved everything, it's very important now to make sure that we move our events. See, look, this door is floating in space. And we need to make it so that way the R house event, the coordinates have now changed. So it won't warp us to where it warped us previously. It'll warp us to where the map thought we were previously. So we need to change that. And another thing that we need to change is in the intro, we need to change where we start. Since we have a house, let's make it so that way the intro starts us inside of our house rather than outside. So instead, let's go to our house, and let's start next to our bed, facing down. Cool. All right. So, that's good. So right now, this is, this is our house. This is our town. It looks pretty bad. And uh, we're going to make it look not so bad. Let's fill it in with some more trees. Fill it all in. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. And... Let's do a couple more tree things. I'm going to show you something that's like a super useful trick when it comes to making trees. Oh shit, did I mess up? I think I messed up. Oh, whatever. Okay, so see, the top of the trees here... How, what am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click and copy this specific like top of the tree thing and paste it like that. See, with the transparency there, that looks pretty good. It doesn't... I mean, there's still some corners and it doesn't look perfect. If you want to make it look super perfect, you can do the second layer as well and paste that, like like so. That looks even better. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the map now. Like that. Cool. So this is going to be kind of a tall, wide town, but... YOLO! Alright. So, what I talked about earlier was map connections. It's a very important, very, very important thing when it comes to making a Pokemon game, and Pokemon Essentials is awesome in this respect. So right now, normally, you'd walk down, and it would take you to Route 1. But we need to make Route 1. So let's examine this for a second. Let's see, it's three pieces of grass, then three dirt, then four pieces of grass, and then some trees. So let's just copy this. And let's make a new map. We'll call it Route 1, and it'll be outside, and it will be 40 wide and 40 tall. And I'm not going to do the background music yet. Okay, cool. And then on the top of this route, we'll have the same layout of three three, four, from the previous map. We want to make sure that the connection looks good. What we're going to be doing is basically puzzle piecing these two maps together. So we want to make sure that the connections look good and that the trees line up as well. So what we need to do is I think copy this layer. Yeah. And then paste that here. 
like so. Cool. Then I can copy the grass, fill it all in. So now we have all of our grass. Looks good. Cool. And this will be the very beginning of Route 1. I'll also put some grass over here, whatever. Whatever, you know, the basics. Fill in some trees. It's not going to be too nice. This is all, you know, it's a very basic tutorial. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Something like that. Something like that. Fill in so it's like no way to see through. Come on. Damn, I'm like not on my A game right now when it comes to tile tiling. I've done so much tiling, I'll tell you what. Okay, cool. And let's just do a little bit of this real quick. Real quick. Okay, cool. So this will be the start of Route 1. It's gonna be bad right now, but it'll get better. Okay, cool. So let's play our game. Let's load our save. Ta-da! Here we are in our town, listening to our bad music. We can go into our house. We can leave our house. And then as we walk down, there's gonna be nothing, because we haven't set the map connections yet. Oh, bonk! Oh, that sucks. So let's save. And then let's go into debug mode. This is so amazing and so important and so helpful, and it's you need to use it when making a Pokemon game. So when you're in, you're when you're in when you're playing the game and you're in debug mode, you'll see that there's this thing saying debug. You can just press F9, F9 on your keyboard, and it'll pull up the debug menu. Then you can use the arrow keys to browse around. I went up there, so there's a lot of debug stuff. It's amazing. You can test so much. You can give yourself a demo party. You can manage things. You can set things. You can set encounters for wild Pokemon. You can set metadata. That's pretty important. But what we want to do, let's see if I can find it, is map connections. So this is our starting map. It's okay. Wait, I just don't click. I think what you do is you press... Okay, there it is. So, you can click it and drag it around. Hey! But, if you press A on your keyboard, it'll pull up this thing where it says Add Map. So you're going to add a map. What you want to do is add Route 1. And then left click and drag until it is aligned. Ta-da! And then you can just press Escape and you can save the changes. And then exit from the editor. And then now you can go to Route 1! Isn't that amazing? That's so amazing. So let's save this. And then now that we have our routes and our towns connected, let's close this and let's import some music that doesn't suck, shall we? So what you want to do is click on the materials thing. This is going to be where you manage your audio and you manage your art. So you go to the BGM section, background music, and let's import. I downloaded some pretty dope music, not afraid to show it off. It's in the Pokemon tutorial folder. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Let's get some Heart Gold and Soul Silver music in here. So I want to import Cherry Grove City. I want to import Pokemon Center. Battle against the wild Pokemon. And let's see if I can find any good root music. I'll just import New Bark Town and Route 29 as well. So importing all of those. Cool. Close. Save. Okay, then let's right click on our town and go to map properties again. And let's change it from, so instead of playing Field 1, it plays New Bark Town. And it sounds like this. If it'll load. Is it not going to load? Interesting. Did I accidentally lower my audio? Can I not hear it? Huh. Do any of these play? They're not playing right now. Okay, well I'll set it to Cherry Grove City and see how it works in-game. This might be a problem. Load, 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 load. Compile all that good stuff. Takes a while. Cool. Interesting, it's not playing our, our audio. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. I'll be right back. So what I did was I threw the audio file into Audacity. I lowered the project bitrate to like 3200 and I just exported it as an MP3. And now it works. So, if I go to the test town and do map properties, I can change it to be our new bark town that has been edited and is better. And then go to map properties for our house. And let's change that to new bark town as well so there's some consistency. Cool. And one thing to note is if you have background music that is the same volume across two maps, 
the music will not reset when you move to the new map. If you change it, so that way one map is 100 volume and another map is 90 volume, and you go from one map to the other, the music will play from the start when you go to the new map. But if you have them both at 100, it'll be a seamless transition. So let's show it off again, show off exactly what I did again. I opened Audacity for the new music, and let's see, I'll find my new music. Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, blah blah blah. Let's find Route 29. Is this good? Cool. That'll be our first route. Drag and drop it into Audacity. This is free. This is very good audio editing software. And then you can just do export. Da -da -da. I'll export it as Route 29. I cleared the tags just because exporting this MP3. I've had to do a lot of like audio editing when it comes to importing audio, just to make sure that they're at a lower bitrate and then they fit and everything's good. But then you can go into your database, you can go to import, you can import your song that you just exported, and close this, go to root 1, map properties, change the background music, where is it, there it is, our root 1, our root 29, cool. So let's see it in game. So in game, here's what will happen. You go to the town, it's playing our new Bark Town music. Sounds good. I go into our house. Seamless transition because they're both at the same audio. The same uh, the same audio level. And then when I enter Route 1, the new music plays. Thanks for watching. Um, so what we covered in this episode was map connections, importing audio, and map polish. Well, there's still a lot more map polish that needs to be done, and I'll cover that in the future episodes, as well as more advanced stuff. In the well, I think what I'm going to do next is roots and wild Pokemon. That'll be very important. But yeah, I hope to see you next time, and I hope you found this episode useful. And, you know, if you have any questions, just like before, hit me up on Twitter, leave a comment. I'll read all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Good luck making your Pokemon game, and uh, I'd recommend what you do is you mess around making some maps on your own, and then once again, come back and then watch the next episode. So hope to see you there. Peace out, you guys. See you next time.